greetings to you once again, brothers, sisters, in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that is above every other name. The name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus Christ, is Lord. He's above it all. In Him, we live, we move, we have our being. Ah, yes. All right, so, much, much, much going on in the world right now. A lot of things happening in the world. Um, hey, did you notice it? Did you notice how they work so quickly to try to change the narrative when something's not working to keep you focused on something else? Just remember... They just tried to lock you in your house for a one and a half years. One and a half years. They were trying, 18 months, they were trying to lock you in your house. Where did that go? Where did that go? Where did the conversation about that go? Where did the people that gave wrong medical advice, where did they go? What happened to them? Where did the people that gave... You know what? This is stuff that can be studied. This is stuff that can be brought forward. Where, where are the people that denied life-saving medical... Um, life-saving medicines, life-saving medical counsel, life-saving medical advice? What happened to them? If you've not seen um, Dr. Shiva's... Uh, just any of his videos if, if there's somebody to look up about some of this stuff he's a great one to look up um, Dr. Shiva just I mean exceptional as far as somebody that is able to take things that are complex complex um, ideas and concepts and turn them into something that is um, easy for a lay person to understand. And, um, you know, with Dr. Shiva, one of the things that he goes into is just the modern immune system. The understanding of the modern immune system compared to <clears throat> the archaic models that all these decisions have been made under to justify the actions they've been taking not even being healthy actions even under those old systems but um, but yeah you know uh, the, the 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 premise that they've been using to try to enforce certain actions on people is on science that is 70 to 100 years old in understanding you know i i the, the medical industrial complex listen the medical industrial complex it doesn't make money if you're healthy and it doesn't make money if you're dead okay you need to be somewhere in the middle marginally uncomfortably just uncomfortably you, you need to just be existing they can't have you healthy full of life full of energy out there doing whatever it is that God has for you to do not needing anything from them you know, only only coming in when there's, you know, a traumatic injury that they need to now do emergency medicine. But overall, health-wise, health-wise, you're good. You know, it, it's, it's, no, they, they want you, they want you sick. How many pills? How many pills are people on? How many pills do they give you? When there's just a natural course of action. Look, look. So right now I'm in the country of Sri Lanka. <clears throat> where the medical industrial complex is in its own form here. Has thoroughly infiltrated in this country. I'll give you a little context here. If you go see a just a general practitioner here. And you just go in there to... Um, just whatever you go check get checked out for. You will leave that doctor government private sector doesn't matter with prescriptions for three to four medicines every time 
They will write, they love to write prescriptions for everything and people love to go and take them. It's it's already there even though this is a country with natural medicine, uh, ayurvedic medicine, herbs, all those kind of things are here and yet this kind of practice has infiltrated very heavily. Um, you know, I I used to when I used to uh, run uh, an advertising agency here and I met people that were involved with uh, you know some of those type of medicine and uh, even at that time the issue coming into this country was the type of business practices taking place with people that were bringing down pharmaceuticals from China and from India and the people that were bringing in higher quality medicines higher quality mo molecules I should say from Europe they were finding it very difficult to be in this market because of cheap knockoffs that were coming in from these other places and they couldn't sustain business here. So even in even within their own world, they're biting and devouring each other. Um, and it's a business of it's it's a money grab. So now if that's if that's the case, well then at some point, when and where do people start to make the best decisions about their health, about their wellness, about their well-being? You know, if you, if you leave it to these people that don't have your best interests at heart, and you put it in their hands, and, and you put your trust in their hands, look, that is a great recipe just to be destroyed. <laughs> because you know why? Here's a few things that usually people people just check their brains at the door if if there's a few boxes checked. Right? Okay, if somebody's got a degree on the wall, if they got that degree on the wall framed, they've got pictures with important people, um, if they've got the trimmings of success, so if they drive that that nice luxury car, live in that big luxury house. <clears throat> you know, have that attractive husband or wife. <clears throat> you know, if they're standing in front of a jet. You know, whatever it is. Those, all those kind of things. Then it's like, oh, this person, they must be successful. They must know what they're talking about. Therefore, let me listen to them, right? Now, wisdom is proved right by her children. By the merits of the words themselves, by the truth of the words themselves, not by the trimmings that are there. See, this is why the religious system in the religion of the world, <clears throat> dress and attire is so important. <clears throat> Excuse me, dress and attire is so important because that's the way to distinguish and to let you know that they're on a different plane. So it's very important to have the collar, the robe, the tassels, the bells, the this, the that, the purple shirt, whatever it is, that collar, oh man, whatever it is to let you know, to let you know there's something, that they are, that they are this thing. Because would you recognize them without it? Can you, could you recognize a man or a woman of God if they didn't, if they didn't have that? Well, if you're a spiritual person, absolutely. If you're a person of spirit, absolutely you recognize a man or a woman of God when they cross your path. Because the spirit within them will bear witness. And if you honor that spirit within them, you will bear witness of who they are. See, that's the thing. A lot of people, they don't, honor, they don't honor the truth. They don't honor the Spirit of God. And so when they come across <clears throat> that which is true and that which is from God, they actually dishonor it. They actually put it down. They actually, they, they treat it like something common. And it's not. It's not. You know, you, you may not get that chance to meet that kind of person again. But because they don't honor the Spirit of God, because they don't honor the truth, because they don't honor that which is real, because they refuse to love the truth, they give themselves over to the lie and to a powerful delusion. God turns them over to that. 
So they give themselves over to that. They, by rejecting truth, that's what they are. That's that's what they put priority on, and that's what they get. But now, at some point, when you need the truth, it's not there anymore because you never had a place for it in the first place. <clears throat> You never had space for the truth in the first place. You never had a desire for the truth in the first place. And so now, as people around the world are just going into seasons of tremendous confusion, well, if you don't have a heart for truth, then when you need to make a decision, how will you have any framework when you need to make now, you, you actually need to make good, wise decisions and wise choices, how would you do that now if you never had space for the truth in the first place? You know, here's something that that's, you should find a bit fascinating. Many of these in this world, a lot of these quote-unquote intelligence agencies that are out there, that engage in all kinds of things, um, on behalf of sometimes government actors, sometimes government, you know, government, sometimes private individuals, whatever it might be. In those places, they they want to know what the truth is. Now, so that they can twist it, so that they can turn it, so that they can manipulate it, but they want to know what it is. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> These groups want to know what the truth is so that they can twist it, so they can manipulate it, so that they can try to control the narrative. They're, 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 it's, for them, it's extremely important to, um, to, have, to know what's actually going on. For some reason, people um, don't realize that the, the, the value and the priority of knowing the truth. When you know truth, it's you know what you're dealing with. When you know truth, you now have the ability to make a proper decision, to make a proper choice. So, see right now, the people around the world are very angry, very upset. Everybody's been locked down for for um, for months, frustrated. Jobs have been destroyed. Communities have been upset all kinds of things that have, have happened and now what they've done as their other plan was falling apart and not having the desired effect now look for the next distraction now look for the next um, the next control the narrative and keep people listen divide and conquer has been a shop worn method the enemy has used again and again and again to control people and that, you're going to see that again and again. They're just going to, they will play that card until it just stops working. So, you've got to recognize that that's part of the game. And you've got to also um, take a step up and take a step out from all of that. So, in order to do that, you've got to know what they're doing. you got to know where they're coming from. You have to know how they're trying to do that. How they're, they're, they, they use no-win situations. How they use legitimate grievances that people have. And how they steer people against each other. For what purpose? So that they don't come after the ones that are actually causing all the pain and all the suffering around you. I brought it up before. The, the, during the heights of colonialism, the British Empire controlled the nation of India, about a billion people, with around 3,000 troops. Why? Because they kept everybody divided against each other there, that nobody focused on the people that were actually controlling them. All around the world, people use this again and again. So you've got to recognize that your information has been weaponized against you. <clears throat> if it's coming through these control sources, and you've got to recognize the way they play this game. Who are you being told to hate? Who are you being told to be angry at? And why? Why are you being told that? Just recognize that. Just stop. Take a step back. Breathe. 
and recognize that the people that are trying to keep everybody divided against each other, these are not your friends. And the same time that they keep each other divided against each other, the, the end result of that is that they just carry on just destroying everybody while people are fighting against themselves. So, recognize the game. Um, you know, they're going to keep doing this stuff. It's just going to keep going on. And so, you know, just encourage you to look through it. Take a step back a little bit. Because you've got one set of things which are the actions, but then you've also got the people that are trying to control your reaction. The Hegelian dialectic is problem, reaction, controlled, solution. Problem, reaction, controlled, solution. <clears throat> there's a problem. Then there's going to be a controlled... There's going, to be a, there's going to be a problem that they create. Then there's going to be a reaction which they want and they've engineered and they want that. And then there's going to be the solution they offer and that they push towards. You've got to recognize that that's all part of the game. All right? <clears throat> all right. Um, all right. God bless you guys. Drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. We'll catch up with you again sometime soon. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.